Well, there's a big 69er scene uh, that kind of finishes the movie. It's the climax of it now. Um... <laughs> Hey, how are you doing? Very good, how are you? Good, nice pencil. Thank you very much. It's, yeah, Chinese pencil. Very oh, strange. Um, let's get straight in there. Um, how have things changed for foreign interests since Divergent? Um, yeah, they basically, it's kind of picks off a couple of days, uh, picks off, picks up a couple of days after the, the end of the first movie and essentially they, they're kind of on the run. What was nice about coming back to, to a to, to a franchise to be able to do a second movie is you kind of you're able to do away with a lot of the the kind of explanation that you have to get through in the first movie that you know the characters you know the world so um yeah Tris and four essentially she is kind of out for revenge she's out for blood uh against Kate Winslet's character Janine and four is trying to temper that somehow um as well as that we're seeing kind of the new introduction of new characters Naomi Watts his mother who we figured would have been about seven when she had me um is uh is is you know she plays um she plays Ford's mother and she you know potentially we're, we're not really sure of uh of of where she stands and she kind of develops into a semi-villainous character mm. tell us a bit about working with Naomi it was great you know I was a big fan of hers from before I became an actor I remember watching Mahalan Drive and being kind of blown away so I was excited to to work with her and she's very cool and open and I think specifically for this role you know her natural energy is one of kind of she has an ethereal nature like a gentleness which I think plays nicely because her character is actually one of, of kind of steel and ambition but played in a way which you're not really sure where she's you know you're not really sure of exactly mm. her intention. Yeah, you definitely seem like you wouldn't want to mess with her. She does seem like a bit of a badass. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, exactly. Um, and has four interests relationship developed as well. Yeah, now they're going steady. So, uh, you know, uh, contraception, obviously, because they don't want to be planning for children too early. Uh, but they yes. are going to have them. That's going to be in Allegiant. Um, I look forward to that. Yeah. Plot twist. They're having twins, uh, Bertie and Bernadette. Uh, <laughs> no, they uh, have the relationship developed. I think they're kind of, it's quite different in the sense that they are now together, really. Um, and now Four has something to lose, in, the, in, in essence, you know, Shade's character, Triss. And he's trying to stop her kind of destructive, self-destructive nature. And he's trying to use anything in his power to to stop her, to, to protect her, essentially. Mm. Fool's a really interesting one because it kind of seemed like in Divergent he was a bit of an enigma. We didn't really kind of know mm. him very well. But this time it's much more about yeah. us kind of getting to know him. Yeah, exactly. You, you find out much more about him. And in a way there's a kind of an openness that wasn't there before because, you know, he's obviously kind of, fell in love with someone and, and found and found someone to kind of to open up to in a way not that not that he opens up directly to her and not that it's that simple but yeah you see more of him you see more of his story he's kind of there's this idea of him becoming reluctantly a leader and what what that brings with it mm, and there definitely seems like so much more action this time um, looking back is there a scene that you are particularly proud of or you found you remember as being the hardest to sort of film well, there's a big 69er scene uh, that kind of finishes the movie. It's the climax of it now. Um, yes, I, I mean, there's lots of... The great thing about the movie, which I, I hope um, it's done, I, th I think it has, is um, kind of expand the world, make it bigger and better. I think everyone was pretty clear in the sense that if you're going to come back to another movie, you do it, do it, do it bolder, and you make it as, as, as kind of... You step it up a notch, basically. Um, and I think we've we've managed to do that. I think in terms of favourite scenes, there's a big train sequence which was kind of fun to shoot. Um, and it's me, Shay, and Ansel's character, and then a few new characters join. And it was you know sprinting alongside a train in mid Georgian summer, uh, and then big fight sequences is kind of fun. Mm. Um, last question to finish off with: um, In the spirit of the truth serum, what is the best and the worst things about working with Shay? Um, the best is that. Uh, She's, you know, a great actress and fun, and we're friends. So, it's, so it's kind of easy to, to have a shorthand and try and make every scene and every bit of work we do as good as possible. The worst is her force feeding me, um, healthy but not so delicious ah. treats. Interesting. What kind of things does she force feed you? Um, her fist. <laughs> <Awesome>. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, <laughs> Cheers. Thank you.